Okay, so let's say you have your object that you have made into only one or two bodies and you need to separate it so that you can do the exploded view and see all the parts and what you want to make it out of. Um, one of the ways to do that is to use planes. Under the construct menu you can create an offset plane. The offset plane, for example, you could start at, let's start at the bottom. Now, I'd like to offset by moving this up, and I'd like to move it up, say, the thickness of a piece of wood. So the wood that we have, I can go type this right in, is four millimeters. So, uh, move this a little bit this way so you can see what's going on. Now I've moved it down, that's not what I want to do. So in order to change the direction, I can add a minus, and that gives me four millimeters from the bottom of my object to create a plane. Fabulous. I'm going to do that again. Construct an offset plane. I'm going to select the plane I just did, do another four millimeters, minus four millimeters, sorry, have it go up, and make another one. Keep repeating. Set plane, select the plane before, minus four millimeters, go. So, there we go. We have all of these lovely planes. You could, uh, oops, doo, doo, doo. right click and repeat offset plane from this menu as well if that's faster for you. Select the plane. Do another minus four and go and control click, repeat plane, minus four, go, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so there, there are my lovely planes, and I'm going to slice this puppy up. So now I can go into modify and split body, and I'm going to split this body. On the planes. The body to split, I'm going to select this one, and the splitting tool, I'm going to select this guy and this guy. Oh, I think I can select more than one. Maybe, maybe I have to do them one at a time. And body, bloop. Okie dokie. Now I've split that. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to modify, split body, split this body by that, that, and okie dokie. There we go. We split it again. Go this way if I want to. Uh, and we do it again. Split body, body, oh, body we're going to split. We have to split this body. My bad with the tool because this doesn't have any of those tools to be able to split with. So let's split it with this one. Okie dokie. There I have another body. That's totally going to work. And then you can see where those splits are happening. And let's uh, do it again. Repeat split body. We're gonna, nope, not the top one, the bottom one that's not split yet. And we're going to select a splitting tool the next layer down. Okie dokie. So there we go. We're starting to see this body split out in things. And we do this a couple more times. We've got two more planes to play with. That. And select the plane of choice. Okie dokie. There we go. Repeat. That's the body we're splitting with. Uh, this split that plane right there. Yay. Okie dokie. Now we can move these things. So I'm going to very carefully move each of these bodies uh, a little bit at a time. So you can decide how much you need to move these. You may want to do it evenly. Uh, let's do that for starters. And then we can move the next one. Go up. 
and let's go 18. We can leave that little gap there. Or we could do 15 and leave a bigger gap so you can see the things in between. Uh, good to go. Moving this one up. These are you just kind of slide them into place. And moving this, oops, this one. Da -da 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 -da. And then what we're doing is giving us the capacity to see. Um, how we would put this together, right? Because now we can see that this is going to be made up of one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera um, layers of four millimeter wood, and that that wood is going to be uh, to have holes in it. Say, for example, you can see where this inside sphere, right, is the void, it's the, the empty part. Um, and let's say we wanted to see what this, oops, there we go, what this guy's gonna look like. I don't want a face, I want to move the body. Thank you very much. Bloop. So I'm just gonna move this out this way and take a look from the top. And you can see, oops, zoom, zoom that this piece of wood would have a hole in it. Now, granted, when you use a laser cutter, this is gonna cut straight down and not be at an angle. And same thing here. But you can see roughly what this piece of wood is going to look like, or what you would need to do to cut this uh, out to fit into that space in the overall scheme of things. Now, if you add the appropriate uh, rendering, you're gonna be able to see that it's made out of wood, or maybe you have a couple at the bottom that are acrylic because you like the look. That's an option for you. Um, but this is going to be the easiest way for you to make that exploded view to create the different bodies, right? So you need to have different bodies to render the different material. You need to be able to show the parts that are separate when you do the exploded view, and you just need to move the parts around to explode the view. So this is going to work in your favor. Uh, Talk to me uh, if you have problems, but this is a, a good place to start. Thank you.